Right, this without a doubt is one of the best garden rooms we have ever built. It's absolutely massive and it's got, it's fully loaded. It's got so many different features. It's going to take me a while to walk you around it. Also, and there's a few little things. So if you're, if you're after the freebies or the raffles, you need to watch the full video so that you can get all this. Right, this garden room, it's seven meters long. It's four meters deep. It's also got a canopy on as well. The canopy is three meters and it's four meters deep, obviously. We see the clad the ceiling of the camp here and we've used these steel posts as well but I'm going to talk about them in a little bit of detail in a minute we've also got there's a three meter wide fully fixed there glazed aperture window and we've also got these sliders as well yeah every single bit of glazing apart from the little back window there and I'll explain why it hasn't has got integrated blinds as well so but once we get inside I'm going to talk you through that as well so when we arrived on site there were trampoline over there and there was a bit of a corner area and this sleeper wall there ran right to the back of the garden the customer wanted the building a meter away from the um from the boundary so what we did then we cut the sleepers back there we dug back we dug down we got rid of all that earth and we put the sleeper walls in as well this path here it just came down here and it stopped on that flag there and then like i said there was an area there where the um trampoline was so what i suggested to the customer was he's going to come down there but he might also want to exit from that side of the building so we've got entrance point here as well yeah and what we did then as well we carried on with the path down here and obviously we've kept the path level and we've created this little exterior patio area here as well this area here was also just earth so what i said is why don't we have a step down there We'll follow around, we'll follow the curve. The curve was already there, but this was earth. So we've repaved the area there. And obviously we've got our little step up here as well. So you've got two outdoor entertaining areas there. You've got the full sun, you can sit in the sun there. Or you can sit in the shade, or if it starts to rain, you can get under cover there as well. Right, let's talk about the building. On this elevation here, we've got three meter bifolds. They're aluminium, they're integrated blinds as well. They're from Express Bifolds. They are the leading manufacturer of bifolds in the company and that, in the country, and that is why we use them. Right, but once I get inside, I'm gonna show you them as well. We've got an outdoor socket as there. We've got a lovely stainless steel finish on there as well. Double outdoor socket. So if you're entertaining out here, your phone's running out, you can plug your charger in there and you're good to go. Right, so like I said, we've got a three meter fixed paneled window there and we've got a two meter slider doors as well. We've also done the soffit in cedar because we needed to carry the soffit of the building and the canopy through in cedar. And we've got a range of down lights there as well. And we've also got a PIR security light. So when you walk out of the house, you come down, the light picks you up and you're bathed in light. Right, let's have a look around the back then. So here, this sleeper wall went another 300 that way. So we've dug it down, we've pushed it back and we've recreated the sleeper wall. And we've dropped some nice aggregate in there as well to tidy that up. Um, Around the back here, we've got an aircon unit now. Right, so I'll explain the aircon unit when we get inside. Um, it's a Samsung model, it's a three and a half kilowatt, and it's absolutely deadly quiet. Yeah, and you can see this beautiful job that they've done installing this. Right, the company that installed this, Island HVAC, um, they've done an absolutely tidy job there. Look, you can see how they come out the trunking, and that is sat on a flag there, and it's got some anti vibration pads on as well. So, like I said, this is one of the best garden rooms we have ever built and it'll probably be the best garden room you'll see on the internet. Right, let's have a look inside. So we've got two meter sliders, like I say, with the integrated blinds as well. They open nicely and that brings you into the main room. Like I said, it's seven meters wide and four meters deep. You can see the TV area here. We fit these units for the customer that they supplied. We've got the three and a half kilowatt Samsung air conditioning unit on the wall and we'll talk about that in a minute. We've also fixed the customer's TV. He's had this sofa delivered today, so we sat that in nicely as well. And on to the main event. No, we'll hold the main event for a little bit longer, yeah. So they are integrated into the glass, which means they're never going to get dusty, yeah? And you're never going to damage them, dog knocking into them, kids knocking into them. The lovely feature and something that I'd recommend in any garden room because they also block out the sun. Um, and we've had them fit to all the units apart from the little window. Um, if David just wants to pan around now, we'll see this little light box window we fit there as well. Obviously with the blind in there, you get the, the mechanism up there and then the blind, you have very little glass, so there's no point in actually putting a blind into that unit as well. Right then. So that's the two meter sliders. This is the three meter fixed pane. Yeah, we've got loads of light coming in here, which means loads of heat, right? This building is super insulated. Loads of heat means a problem in the summertime. And that is why we have got the three and a half kilowatt air conditioning unit. It's been beautifully fit, like I said, by Island HVAC, right? It's done a fantastic job. 
And trust me, right, I will recommend Island Turks Fat continually. And I will also recommend if you're going to have a room in these rooms and you're going to spend a lot of time in it, you need to get air conditioning. It heats the room, it cools the room, and it also um, takes the moisture out of the room as well. And there's no VAT on them units as well. Fantastic bit of kit. Right, we have got two-way switches. So whichever door you leave this room, you can turn the lights off, yeah? Whichever door you leave. We've also got a consumer unit there as well, which is certified and tested. And under here, we should have, there it is. John has connected up to the house Wi-Fi. He's got Cat6 cable running to that. Um, and we do, he always tests, we do have the same speed there as you do right next to the house modem as well. Um, and like I said, we've dropped his TV on the wall as well. It's beautiful. And a lovely little area to sit down and socialize in. Right, so. Let's talk about the bifold doors then. The bifold doors have also got integrated blinds. These are the new model from um, Express Bifolds. They have got the smaller sight lines on them. The only downside to this with the smaller sight lines is when you have integrated blinds, you kind of lose that effect. But you can see they open up beautifully, yeah? So imagine there you're socializing um, and you've got your friends around, stuff like that. You've got bifold doors open. It's beautiful summer's evening. It's fantastic. Yeah, a lovely little feature. Um, and we always fit aluminium because they are the better quality ones as well. Right, on to the main event, which I'm sure you have all been waiting for. The bar area. Right. And what could be better on a summer's evening than sitting at your own bar? And here we've created this absolutely fantastic home bar. Now, the customer drops me this image and he says he liked this. Um, he wanted something similar to that. And I said to him, how about we put a curve on it? And we have, um, let me pull these beautiful seat sizes I've delivered. We have had, we have put on this beautiful curve on the bar. So the image he showed me was a right angle, but what I said is let's put a curve on it, yeah? And let's get the granite curved as well. And let's put a plinth light in as well. And let's have this under light, light in as well. So all these LEDs, let me just show you now, are independent and you can turn them off one at a time. So, you know, if you want a bit of mood lighting, yeah, you can have that on. What's on there? Is that the bar light? Yeah. yeah, or you can have the plinth light on. Let me just drop the lights in the room and it might actually give you a better feel for this bar, yeah? So, you know, it's late at night, there's just a couple of you here, you're having a few drinks, yeah? Or you can turn that one on, yeah? Or failing that, you can have just a back bar on, yeah? It's got beautiful lights, yeah? I like all three of them, to be fair. Right, let's talk about the top as well. No, I haven't finished with the front, actually. Right, the front, these are solid oak strips that we have machined up on site and put them on. And you can see that beautiful skirt there as well. It's actually a brushed gold laminate. And what I'm gonna do in a minute, I'm gonna show you the other trims that we have put on as well. Little tip for you, don't open that till you've opened that. Right, the top is Star Galaxy. It's solid granite. There is nearly half a ton of granite here. Now, if you have a look at the Star Galaxy, it's got little flicks of like bronze type color in it. And that's why we've gone for the brushed gold laminate, the bronzed mirror and the soft glow lights as well. So it's a beautiful, beautiful bar top that. I'm proud of that in, in any fancy wine bar in town, let me tell you, never mind a home bar. So let's talk about the back bar. The back bar itself is solid oak as well. We've got two tier shelf in and we've got LED light in under there as well. And I put a little trim on the front of there just to stop that LED light shining in your face when you were looking directly there. And the mirror itself, the mirror itself is a bronzed mirror, yeah? So, right, so I've got, this, I've got the gold and oak colour, yeah? I've got the nice gold, I've got the soft lights and I've also got the bronze flicks in the granite worktop as well. So everything's tying in and it's actually working a treat. And at the back bar as well, we've got a range of adjustable shelving and the customer give us the dims as well for this fridge as well. If David just wants to nip round here, you can see he's got like a 1200 fridge there, which he has fully stocked as well. Trust me, that is ready to go, this bar. All it needs now is some glasses, in my opinion. Right, right so that's your bar, that's your bifolds, that's your fixed canes, that's your sliders, and that is your seven meter by four meter, what could only be described as a deluxe garden room. Um, and it complements these seats beautifully as well. Right. right, so every month we're giving away a free prize. This month's free prize is the laser, self-leveling laser, and I've actually used it on this bar as well. It's a fantastic little bit of kit. Yeah, it retails at about 260 pounds. It's got 16 laser points on it, I believe. Um, and what I said was, what you need to do, right, you need to take part in the raffles that I'm organizing. 180,000 pounds we have raised, yeah? 180,000 pounds for candle lighters. It's a massive amount of money for a small company to pull out of the air. And I've been helped by you guys. Right, I've got three current raffles now. Right, 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the current raffles. Right, we have got the Makita bundle. There's a Makita compound miter saw in there. It's 18 volt as well, so it's all battery, yeah? We've got a circular saw, we've got a jigsaw, we've got a multi-tool, we've got a resip saw, and we've got a combi drill and impact driver, and we've got a palm sander as well. I use this kit, it's a fantastic bit of kit, but you know full well Makita do not make decent nail guns. So we've got a first fix there, it's the seventh generation, and we've got a 16 gauge Pazload second filler. Right, we've also got the DeWalt. This is, John, is that battery or is it plug-in? I can't tell. It's plug-in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is a 240 chop saw, I might have saw. It's a 300, is it a 305 one, John? Yeah. Yeah. This is the one we use on site, day in, day out, never lets us down. You've got a circular saw. You've got combi drill and you've got impact driver. You've got um, a palm sandy, you've got jigsaw, you've got a multi-tool, and you've got the DeWalt first and second fixed nail guns. Loads of batteries with that, some four amps, some two amps, and some, is there only five amps? Yeah, a couple of five amps as well. And then you've got the Milwaukee, which, now the DeWalt is doing better than that, and that, I thought that would do best. And then you've got the Milwaukee, you've got a battery operated miter saw there as well. You've got a circular saw, you've got impact driver and combi drill as well. And it's the red ring one, the power one. Is it third generation or fourth, John? Third or fourth? Uh, I don't know. Right, I've no idea what generation they are, but they're a top quality bit of kit, and that is brutal, that, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we've got a multi-tool there as well. We've got palm sander, I've already said that in a jigsaw. And we've got the first and second fixed nail guns. They're battery operated, they don't take any gas. They are battery operated, they don't take any gas. They are battery operated, they take gas, but they will not let you down, right? So you've got three prizes there, and the first one that goes will win this hat as well. I'm gonna throw that in as well. Back to the bar. Right, so soon as one of them goes, the first one that goes is going to win this baseball cap, yeah? If you follow this guy on new t on um, TikTok, you'll know exactly who he is. 40 quid that cost me, and I've no idea why, boy. But that will go with the first prize that goes, right? This is going to go. I'm going to draw this Monday or Tuesday because we're at the end of the month now, right? But to win that, you have to have bought a ticket for the raffle, yeah? And then what you have to do is send me proof of purchase. So just screenshot your raffle tickets, send it to the burner number, which is on the screen now. Yeah. And I will then draw it on Monday and somebody is going to win that lovely self-leveling laser, right? But it's Friday night. Yeah. If you're not sat at your own bar, you're probably sat in your living room having a beer. Get on raffle now. R-A-F-F-A-L-L. -F -L. The link is in the bio if you're watching. Right. It's easy to find searching local garden rooms. There's free massive raffle prizes there it's two pound a ticket yeah and somebody's going to walk away with either the milwaukee the dewalt or the makita bundle right right if you want these garden rooms we are the people that can build it for you there's nobody building to this kind of quality nobody at all i mean look at this bar look at this build yeah it's absolutely faultless it's absolutely amazing and this is the kind of thing we pull out all the time right so if you want one of these you need to get in touch yeah Drop us a line. If you're close enough, we'll come to you. And if the money's right, we might travel further as well. And don't forget the raffles. You need to take part. To help us. We're trying to get to £200,000. Yeah? Trying to get to £200,000 for candle lighters. All right, so that's it. Please like, share, follow, comment. Share it to everybody you know, right? Nobody will see in a garden room like this. Nobody, I'm telling you. Nobody will see in a bar like this. If you want a bar like this, maybe I'll come and build a bar like this for you as well. Okay? So please like, subscribe, and comment. And please, please share and buy a raffle ticket as well.